of the afternoon. This is the second, so he's trailing now 12-5. Lost 7-1 in the first session. Played a little better last night. He made a break of 128, which was his highest break at the Crucible for 17 years. His second century of the tournament, and indeed the whole season. But uh, it's a long way back from here. Yes, well, he's left a couple sticking out. One to the left corner, one to the right corner. <clears throat> and if either of these reds go in, that could have been Steve Davis's last shot. Of course, Robertson knows about comebacks because he got a beauty himself against Martin Gold. So although he's aware of these things and that they do happen, you'll probably find it difficult to see how Davis can make that comeback. More shots like them. Missed it by a distance. Cannon into the red and the black. Didn't really get that close to it. blue this because again if he misses it it could be his last shot everything he goes for he's got to be very confident of getting <laughs> nicely done could be on the red to the middle six Trying to force that cue ball through the reds. Now, is he on the one to the right corner? 30. If he is, it's just a little stab for the for the black. Can you see enough of this red? Twenty-five years ago to this very day, Steve Davis suffered one of his greatest disappointments when he lost on the final black 1817 to Dennis Taylor. But we've seen this year's championship why he's regarded as such a legend. He beat John Higgins in the second round. The defending champion. Amazing victory that was. 22. And it did take a lot out of him. And it was clear yesterday in the first session that it was almost as if he'd had his final already. But he will uh, fight to the very end, there's no doubt about that. Yes, and if it had started yesterday, like today, you could almost sense the nervousness in him yesterday. Whereas today, he looks a lot more relaxed. Now, I don't think for one moment he's going to win from this position, but he looks a lot more relaxed around the table. Already got some very good pots in this break. 
And he's unlucky that. He's unlucky. He played for the red to the right of the black, into the left corner, and would have been on that red had the white ball not cannoned into that middle pocket bump. Here it is again. Look where the cue ball's going. Very unfortunate. But chance to play a good safety. Steve Davis, 27. Well, even if he does lose heavily, he's exceeded expectations, including, I suspect, his own. And he's brought uh, a lot of attention to the championship. A lot of people heartened by his run to the quarterfinals. Let's not forget, it's 31 years since he made his debut at the Crucible. Yes, both of these players, David, lit up this year's World Championship for different reasons. But they've both made it a special two weeks, that's for sure. And both go down in the record books, I would imagine. We'll be talking about the Davis win over Higgins for many, many years. And also, Neil Robertson's comeback against Martin Gold will be comparing that in many years to come as well. Well, he's 11-5 down, but, well, Neil Robertson did it in 2000, what was it? Yeah, you remember that, Australian. And they may well say, and then he went on to win the title, because he kind of got out of jail, and who's to say won't go all the way now? Yes, in his mind, this is like a free goal. Because I'm sure he thought he was out against Martin Gold. I'm sure as well, uh, Joe, he would have liked to have finished it last night, had the day off. He didn't really want to come back. He would be expecting to win, I'm sure. But even so, when it's such a long event, the semi-finals are three days, the finals two days, he'd be a little bit annoyed maybe he didn't finish it off last night. Yeah, yeah but he could have done with a break, really. Just a day's rest type of thing. Well, this is the chance he was looking for. Yes, it was just um, a few hours after Davis's win on Saturday that Robertson completed his comeback. And it showed what a great attitude he has because he didn't come out just...